people have been talking about that's where the new that's where the new center of gravity is uh i don't know man i'm i'm, I'm seeing it i'm seeing it man um i'm seeing it absolutely this might be where the center of gravity is 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 dripping it's dripping Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. We're rushing in, guys. They say fools rush in, but in, in this particular instance, it's not going to be fools. It's going to be crazy monsters with our rushes deck. We are doing an aggro gruel counters haster. And uh, we wanted a nice smooth run with this a lot of people are saying this is the new meta a lot of people are saying rushing and rushing with with uh you know going in with meat hook being what it is says you can outflank a lot of stuff with some gruel counters aggro here guys so we're gonna get into it right now we're gonna take a look at it um of course before we do that i need you to do something for me you know what i need you to do for me you know what it is tenderly hit that like button gently hit that subscribe button because if you don't, guys, if you don't do either of those things, the like and subscribe, which is a YouTube werewolf, will come and attack you. He will maul, He will absolutely rip you up. All right. He is actually Phyrexian now. He's completed, so he's even more powerful. So you got to do that, guys. And leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the VTuber. Maybe some days I'll use it. Maybe some days I won't. I don't know. We'll see. Um, join us on our stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all the live streaming goodness. We just built a deck on stream together off an idea that one of my uh, Paradabo had a really good idea about an enchantment green deck. And we just built the deck live and in person. We're probably going to make a video out of it soon. So, hey, you missed out if you weren't there. You can check out our Discord community for all the latest news and information. Everything that you want is going to be there. Post your decks, get help. And, of course, this deck and all the other ones that I built are available down below on my Aether Hub. So you can follow the links in my Aether Hub right down there um, to find me out. Yeah, to check me out there. Um, and my Twitter's down there, too. But don't you don't need to follow me there. Well, well, I don't know. Anyways... Rushes. What are we talking about here, guys? We are talking about rushing, rushing, rushing. Um, and when we're doing that, we have to talk about a little bit of protection and removal first. So we're going to have play with fire. I have a, a decent amount of removal. I have a total of seven removal cards in this deck right now. Okay? One play with fire, two, uh, two, one red, two um, deals damage. And if it's direct damage, it will let you scry, which, of course, will let you get nice mana fixes. Um, it will also let you get, you know, pick a card that you need coming up. And it's a nice early removal to get those annoying guys out. It'll deal with a, um, Tenacious Underdog pretty quickly. Tamiyo Safekeeping, a little bit of protection. That life gain, Indestructible, and Hexproof will always keep you safe from whatever the hell else is going on, whatever they're trying to throw at you. So keep that in mind, uh, to throw it out there. And it's a common card. So, I mean, if you haven't crafted this one yet, you're missing out. Kami's Flare. Now, this one is going to be our workhorse. Why? Well, it's three damage to any target. And if we have a um, modified creature, right? If we have a modified creature, uh, it does two damage to that creature's controller. So we can hit removal and do two damage to the controller, which can be the difference. If we're trampling over and rushing in, um, we can really, that two damage can add up as it goes. Three damage might not seem like enough, but it's enough for us, especially if you can stack it with some other removal or hit a card that's already going to get damaged. What does modified mean? Modified means anything with a 1-1 one, one counter on it, or it's enchanted or has is using equipment. That means modified. For our purposes, modified is only going to be counters for right now, okay? 1-1 one, one counters on the creature means that it's going to be modified. Uh, that's going to come in later with Raiju. Gala Greeters, only two of these. Now, if you want to do more of them because you don't have a different card, you can sneak in more. But obviously, being able to self-modify by putting in 1-1 um, one, one counters and, of course, creating a tap treasure token for a little bit of ramp next turn and gaining a little bit of life to kind of stop some damage, uh, damage drain is very nice. However, um, I'm kind of splitting the difference between them and Quarry and Beast Call. If you want to do 3-3, three and three, I'm not mad at you either. That's a fine thing to do. Quarian Beast Caller is very useful in a modified creature deck because she is a 2-2, two, 2-drop, two, two 1 green and 1. And whenever you cast a creature spell, 
um, she gets a counter on her, a 1-1 counter on her. And then, of course, you know I love, if you're a longtime villain, you know that I love creature cards, that if you kill them, there's a punishment. So if our opponent kills this person, kills this Dryad Warrior, she is going to put all of her counters somewhere else, okay? So she, you, you don't lose any of the counter you put. They're going to be put somewhere else, all spread out all over the other creatures that you have. So if you've been building her and building her and building her, even if they play an Infernal on her, kind of most of her power and toughness doesn't go away. It just gets redistributed and everything gets modified. Kodama of the West Tree, again, modifications this is where it comes in handy he is a powerful guy i know he's a mythic rare but if you're ever playing green he is the man for you um one green and two three three reach modified creatures you control have trample whenever a modified creature you control deals combat damage to a player search your library for a basic land card put it on the battlefield tap so he's going to help you ramp as well um not only is he going to be a nice uh, blocker for some early flyers he will give everybody who's modified trample which is a lot of people um he's gonna help you ramp mid mid to late game as well and get those big boys on the floor invigorating hot springs uh cold monkey the monkey hot tub uh one red one green and one enters the battlefield with four one one counters on it modified creatures you control have haste again another great modification remove a one one counter for an uh, invigorating hot speed put a one one counter on target creature activate only as a sorcery and only once each turn so it will automatically give somebody haste and a one one counter if you're stacking modifications with kodama remember it will give it trample as well so you're kind of double dipping in there giving something haste by giving it a one one and giving something trample by giving it a one one which is extremely useful um and of course you can actually trick the system if you have invigorating out and you play a quarian and then you play gallagher eaters well guess what or you play something else anytime that a creature gets modified even if they're out they're going to gain haste so you could actually give these guys haste just by playing another creature out uh, which is really useful. So Invigorating Hot Springs, one to watch. Now, kind of went under the radar as an uncommon, but one to watch coming up. Thundering Raiju, he is going to be a heavy hitter. Uh, two red and two haste, three, three. Whenever Thundering Raiju attacks, put a one, one counter on target creature you control. Then Thundering Raiju deals X number of damage, uh, where X is the number of modified creatures you control other than Thundering Raiju. So he will throw fire and he will throw flame and he will throw lightning, really. It looks like lightning he's working there, actually more than uh, fire and flame uh, based on the modified creatures and he'll help modify a creature as well uh, which means that he will be super super effective in rushing in speaking of rushing in um overwhelmed and oddity i want this guy why um basically i know he doesn't modify creatures but that much power that trample and haste uh for only a four 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 drop that's a lot, man. We need to start overloading the line on turn four, turn five, turn six. We need to start applying a crazy amount of pressure to just get them suppressed. Uh, we're just going to be drawing suppressive fire on them. Then he can go absolutely ham if we have been able to ramp successfully with Kodama. Uh, he can actually go wild and give everybody else, he can turns into an 8-8, eight, eight, gives everyone else a 1-1 one, one and trample and haste on top of that. It's not easy to deal with that board once you do that. We, of course, have Helena and Alana Partners at Law. If we're talking about modifications here, one green and one red and two. First strike reach at the beginning of combat on your turn. Put X 1-1 one, one counters on another target creature, where X is Helena and, Alana's, Helena and Alana's power. That creature gains haste in the end of the turn. Again, modifications, haste, counters. It's all leading into the same thing. You're seeing a theme here? Good. This is what we're doing. This is what this deck does and it does it well. Um, that's what we want. At the beginning of combat, uh, and then of course she is a first strike in reach. She will help accelerate creatures and of course give more and more power and that's every turn, so that's very effective. Shivan Devastator is what I'm gonna be our closer here. Now Shivan Devastator really belongs up here as an early play. A lot of people mistake Shivan Devastator for a late play game that's just gonna go in and bomb, completely bomb somebody. I like him on turn two, man. I like applying pressure with Shivan Devastator in turn two. You know, a lot of people say, um, why don't you go with uh, Phoenix? Um, why don't I go with Phoenix? Well, I, I just don't think it really fits with this deck. Shivan Devastator comes out the gate modified. No matter what he does, he's going to be modified. Um, and you can pay X amount to just get him up. So early game and the late game. Yeah, Shivan turn two, Kodama three. Uh, welcome to a new person right here. Light Sage Zephyr. Welcome to a new guy. Uh, first time streamer shout out there you go 
uh, yeah, so he can help you ramp. He, he just fills so many different roles, man. So definitely want him. Don't think of him as a late game guy. Think of him as a utility player. He can fill in anywhere. Um, eight, eight mountains, one Sokuzen, two Boseijus because of the prevalence of enchantments. We want to make sure we can knock those out. Uh, uh, six forests, some Clarplusians and Rock Veils. Man is going to be the taste here. If you want to do th uh, three and three, that's fine. I'd rather you go faster than slower. I throw in a Zatora's um, Proving Ground right here because in case I get mana flooded mid to late game, I can always cycle out this uh, card. And it's rare that I start with it. Even if I do, I don't really have any one drop. So turn one, it's not that bad to put down. And then late in the game, I can always cycle out the extra mana. Uh, that's a nice trick to make sure that you're getting a very, very smooth, rich, bold mana drop system there. So that's what we're talking about with rushes there. Uh, very, very effective. Got me to plat one. Probably going to push on diamond with it. Um, might 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 still work in diamond too. I don't know. 24 creatures. We're running the gamut here, but a surprising amount of spirits, believe it or not. That's Kodama and Raiju. 10 instants, 2 enchantments, 24 lands altogether with a 25 average CMC. That's pretty normal. Um, I don't... I, I had a little bit of droughting, but even with the treasure generation that we're getting off this and the land fixing, I feel like that's going to be pretty normal. Um, people say, oh, you should go 25. I think 24 is fine. A pretty even split between red and green, so that's why I kind of have them down the middle, uh, not really skewing to one side or the other. Again, manas to taste. If you want to do more double manas and go a little slower, I'm not mad at you. Um, we look at it on sideways view here. Uh, we do have some one drops. I do like that it puts Shiv and Devastator here right now. Um, so we do have some early plays with some removal and Shivan. It's really a two play, uh, two play and anywhere else on here. Um, two and then three and then four and nothing higher than four. We're really trying to move fast. I don't really know if I'd call this full aggro. I'd call it mid aggro. Um, it's really skirting the line between a full on aggro. I mean, everything does have haste and you can start really putting out some damage but you're not swinging turn round, turn one, turn two with like massive amounts of damage or anything like that. So um, right on the line between mid and aggro, but extremely effective. Uh, a little bit of protection, a little bit of removal. You can really overload the line very quickly with this deck uh, and really get the job done. So we're gonna run into platinum um, and grind up those platinum ranks. So we're gonna get to diamond pretty soon here. And uh, maybe we'll make a run on mythic. It depends on whether or not I have a nice run with any kind of new mono black decks or anything like that after the meat hook shakeup. But let's get into it, boys. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. What would you like to add? Um, would you think that Phyrexian Devastator, I mean, uh, uh, Defiler Vigor is a good one because it gives everyone 1-1? One, one? Maybe, but I think it's a little slow for this deck. So that's why I didn't include Phyrexian, uh, um, the Phyrexian Worm, the Defiler of uh, Vigor. So we'll see. Tell me what you think. Leave a comment. Try standard. Let me know if there's anything wrong with the um, the sound, by the way. <clears throat> Let me know. The military is a... So, what does everybody think about what's happening with Amaranth, huh? That's pretty crazy. Who would have thought it was such an awful situation? It goes to show you never really know who's in trouble. You know, that's what I thought at first, but the man has his access to all of her money. And he was like... He was like jacking off... Like... A hundred thousand... Or like two hundred fifty thousand dollars of her money on like stock shorts because she won't answer the phone like at first I was like wow she's got a shitty boyfriend well that's that sucks you know that's that's terrible you know but it happens okay um 
you know, you get in a bad relationship. But like then I, I watched like Charlie's breakdown of the whole situation and bad. Like it's much worse than I thought. <clears throat> um Yeah, her boyfriend is like basically horribly abusive and had her has her basically trapped. All like she basically was like ready to quit and didn't want to do this anymore. And the the shower streams and the hot tub streams, she didn't want to do any of that anymore. Um it's her husband, yeah. And um she didn't want to do any of it and he basically forced her. He has all of her money, all of her passwords. He's been physically abusive he wouldn't let her call the police he's stole her phones she's basically just been a content factory for him um and he didn't he didn't want her to tell anybody that you know he was around either that he was uh that she was married um looks very bad you know at first i was like oh she's uh, she's gonna had a bad relationship with her husband he's an asshole um, no, like, it's, it's real. He was like, I'm gonna destroy you. If you don't do what I want, I'm gonna destroy you. I have access to your Twitter. I'm gonna tweet some horribly offensive stuff and ruin your career. And make sure you can never work again. Um, like, you know, he was like, I, I've, I've written something horrible that I'm gonna tweet out right now under your name just to torpedo your whole career if you don't do what I want. And I have all your money. And, like, she showed the text of, like, he, he basically jacked off a million dollars because he was mad he just bought a bunch of crazy ass fucking stocks or something like that as like punishment yeah it was pretty wild man at first you know i didn't know the details at first uh pretty wild pretty wild um it's gonna be tough because they were married so it's like he's allowed to have certain stuff, but you can't also make threats to people either. So, you know. Uh, Aquarian. play the removal that's the real question seven black magic how you doing bro um they, they, they. yeah she's gonna need a divorce very badly uh Hey, Seven Black Magic, how you doing? What's up, Lady Paradise? We ain't seen you here in a little while. Where you been? You, where you been hiding? How's how's things recovering in Florida, by the way? All right. Hot adhesion. <laughs> so haughty. <laughs> I've been right next to him, but asleep most nights. Very good. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. There we go. All right. No problem with that. Sleeping is delicious. I love sleeping. I feel like people shit on sleeping, but sleeping is one of the nicest things you can do for yourself. Um, no bullshit. Have a nice sleep. Very, very good for you. I love taking a nap. I like to schedule a nice afternoon nap. You know what I mean? I say to myself, I say, self, I'm going to have a nice little nap later. What, from 4 to 5? And I'm ready for it. Sometimes I have a pre-stream nap. You have some power naps, gets you nice and refreshed. You see, people think that, oh, I need energy... I'm going to have caffeine. Caffeine is a stimulant, and it keeps you going in a certain way, but what actually gives you energy 
is uh Ooh, speaking of energy, is food and sleep. Stimulants just kind of push you along a little farther. They don't really, um, they don't really give you energy, so to speak. Uh, ah, water. Tolarian terror. There he is, guys. Yeah, too much caffeine's not good either. Go down on the west tree. Personal. Jesus. Reach out and touch grace. So, <clears throat> out of curiosity, I started playing Elden Ring again. And I started playing it. And I'm like, how the fuck did I beat this game? I, I started a clean playthrough with a knight. And I'm like, what the... I suck at that. I'm getting my ass kicked by everything. Uh, it's awful. Um, I am absolutely wearing it on the chin. Uh, let's do... That. I can't, I can't imagine, like... I'm, I've gotten a little better. I've gotten my, my sea legs, my Elden Ring legs back. Um... But, uh, good lord, man. I don't know how I even played that game. The game's fucking... I don't know how I played Dark Souls 3. That's the real question. If I'm getting my ass whipped by Elden Ring... Good lord, how did I even fucking rank, beat El uh, Dark Souls? You know what I'm saying? How did that even happen? <clears throat> because I remember going into Elden Ring being like, Oh, this is, this is a lot nicer than Dark Souls. This is much easier. Um, you know, this is a little smoother situation. You're not so like head up against the wall type situation. Um, but then good Lord, man. All right. Moving up with a little bit of rush. Um, okay. Hey, there we go. <coughs> <clears throat> Claim prize. All right. Reach out and touch grace. Hey, Lord Gypticus. Lord Gypticus, the Flipticus, number one Kipticus. I get to this. Dropping like acid, you trip to this. It's a little bit of awful rhymes that I made for you there, man. For Lord Gypticus there. Dun, 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 Quarian. The Great Beast. I mean, Gypticus is a very good rhyme. You know, you have a lot of different things that you can rhyme to with that. Non-land card from it. You better get rid of that Kami's Flare. That Kami's Flare ain't fucking no joke. That, that's gonna fuck him up real bad. Yep, that was the right move, my dude. That was the right... Oh, I'm so... Oh, that's too bad. He might, he might fucking quit. You gotta run Kami with fucking modified creatures. Choking my asthma. I'm choking on my asthma. Uh, Helena and Alana partners at law. We will work for you. All right. Six hit. Boom. All right. At Helena and Alana, partners at law, we will work for you.
Hey, hey, Ronin. You drifting? He's dead. It don't matter. He's, unless he's at instant removal. I don't even think he's got that. No, he's got Tenacious. Alright. Bango, I'm out of cut down range. I'm out of cut down range, and if he uses an Infernal Grasp, he's gonna die. Um, oh, very nice. Okay. Another sacrifice. Very nice. Now, another, another Liliana there. I'm gonna draw a mana right here for your pleasure. Oh, it's Gala Greeters. Finish him off. Pop. There you go. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of finish off there. Drift Ronin, how you feeling, man? How's the plumbing working? How is the, um... How's the old, uh... How's the old, uh, sponges and... The whole, uh... The whole situation you got going on. The, uh... Various... Various... Organic pipes... Running the... Parts of your body. Ed Clickerendo. What's up, Ed Clickiendo? Jables. Jables, Jables, I'm the one from the fables. You come at me, son, I'ma flip the tables. Everybody's getting a rhyme tonight. Everybody's getting a rhyme tonight, guys. Deek, 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 deek. Oh, no, not blue. Ledger Shredder. Okay. He's going to shred those ledges. Can't let him have that. Sorry, Bob. Everything's going a lot better. I'm glad to hear it, my dude. Oh, it's a haughty Dijon. <laughs> oh, this gin is so haughty. Is it Jin? Jin? Dijon? Jin? We don't know. We've got a lot of different ways to say it. Uh, we've got a lot, a lot of different... Well, we're in the Wall of Fire now, by, by the way, guys. To get to fucking Plat 1, this is the fucking... This is the marbles game here, guys. Ancestral Anger. Alright. Let's get some more of those. Yeah. Let's get some more of them out of his hand. Dabo, I, I got a pair of Dabo's not easy to rhyme, man. Um, it's not an easy word to rhyme. Uh, you might have some bounce here. He doesn't? Okay. We might have some bounce here. I think we're out of burn range here. Um. Alright. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna... That one, that 
one. Oh yeah, you got me there. Ancestral Anger. Modified Gruel, yes, Modified Gruel. I missed it by one. If I'd have had one more mana, I'd have been in a better position. But of course, six pip is a wall of fire. Couldn't I have played Haste Creature in one? So Iceman, what I was worried about um, is that he had a Counterspell in his hand or he had a Knockback. Um, so if, if he's playing Is It Spells, um, I basically had a 50-50 chance. Um, to tell you what my thinking was. I said I'd rather hold, and that's why I said if I would have had one more mana, if I had one more green mana, I could have done both. So if I played a hasted creature, he could have played, uh, Essence Capture, he could have played anything, he could have played, um, you know, Fading Hope or something like that. It's, it's hard to know, guarantee that I was gonna get through, and I said I'd rather, and he played Shore Up, which was the best card he could have. Because I was doomed at that point because he could double block me. Um, he could double block me and I couldn't kill both of them. So it was just the worst possible... It was the worst possible thing that he could have had. Um, now, it would have been the correct move if I would have known he had a shore up. I would have gone in with a third one. Uh, and then I might have been able to trample over uh, with the extra damage I threw out. But there's no way of knowing, you know. So hindsight, you know. Yeah, it, it, playing playing against blue, it's a hundred percent. It's a it, you're, you're rolling the dice every time. If they have cards in hand, and uh, and um, they have cards in hand and open mana, <coughs> everything you do is a coin flip. You know, it's not uh, it's not easy to say what is going to happen. Three hundred pound bench. Well, this guy's very happy about himself. Hey, what's up, the smalls? Yeah, he could have just had a flat counter of, you know, pay one more and, and counter the spell. You know, he, he could have had anything. Alright, let's devastate it up. Put down damage right away. Uh, we'll put down Kodama. Uh, Weaver Harmony, very nice because we want the mana to get out. So Kodama helps us mana fix, obviously. Uh, we can do that. Um, he can maybe play a lockout with Weaver out, but I can play fire. Oh, it's Ganjigo he's gonna hit, okay. So maybe we'll get a land here and we can do both. No, <clears throat> we don't get a land. Um, but I do think that we need to do this, though. Pop, pop. Prayer of Binding for the Kodam. Um, okay. We can get... Hmm. Let's do this. Let's do this. Swing. Bing, bing. And I think he's done, though. Yeah. He, I don't think he has enough lockout to deal with me. Uh, even if he has a lot of lockout, he doesn't have enough lockout. Yeah, he's done though. Yeah. Yeah, Kodama is, is clutch, dude. The trample, uh, the trample and the land fixing is absolutely fucking clutch, as you can see. Um, I love cats. That is the best freaking name I've ever heard in my life.
And sneaky reach. Yeah, nobody expects it to have reach either. Money makes it rain. Okay. Oh, that's a slow hand right there, boys. That's a slow, slow hand. That's a little better. I can get run on those the devast. Well, uh, I'd rather get rid of the fire and keep the two devastators. Winston Churchill, what's up? I love cats. That's awesome. Small smalls, the girlies come when I calls. You might think I'm little, but I'm ten feet talls. Ba -ba -da. By the way, guys, you see I have a new sponsor called Quip. It's toothbrushes and other oral hygiene accessories. That's weird, right? I've never been sponsored by a toothbrush company before, but I am now. So, you know, there's that. You get $15 off your first order in case you want some oral hygiene products. By the way, and, and this is funny because I talk about this a lot. If you ever have to, um, hey, oh, wow, how to destroy angels. Oh, yeah, that's a fun one, man. I love how to destroy angels. That's a fun, fun deck right there. Um, welcome. I love cats. I love cats too. I love them so much, old kitties. Um, <clears throat> just in time to see my vamp tuber. Yeah. Do do boop boop. We'll keep Tamios on the sideline. Um, I have a cat. I have a gigantic orange Tomcat. Well, I guess he is neutered. But he doesn't act like it. He's gigantic and orange and so hungry. He is just... He's the hungriest guy. Fire Teeth, Go Kelper. What's up, guys? Welcome. Fire Teeth, we ain't seen you in like a year, bro. Holy shit, welcome. Um, Alright, there's Weaver Harmony doing its thing again. Um, How to Destroy Angels is a fun deck. And probably the deck with the coolest name. So, I'm happy about that. He, 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 I mean, he's lazy as shit. I, don't, I mean, but that's pretty much any cat. Uh, I wouldn't say that he's particularly... Um, more lazy than anybody else. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he's older. He's about 11 years old now. Still catching birds and killing rabbits. We can't stop him. He's a machine. He's a man's man cat, and he acts like a dog. Um, he, um, he will beg for food constantly. He will pull food off the counter. Uh, he will try to get your food. He will try to steal it. He'll jump on the counter. He, he'll he go after we cook dinner. He'll go around after we cook dinner and lick stuff off the floor. Try to find things, eat to eat. He is just the app. You'd think we never feed him. You, you, you literally think we're starving him the way this guy eats. He, he's just obsessed with eating food. That's all he wants is to eat. Circle of confinement. There we go. Is he going to double effect? Or is he going to do the other one on? Hit, hit, hit. Oh, damn. I could have swung in with Shiv and Devastator, but I wasn't counting. Counting is for suckers. Borrow time. Uh, well, he don't have enough to stop me anyways. 
You don't have enough to stun me anyways. Devastation. Math is for blockers. Exactly, man. Exactly. Hey, we passed the wall of fire. We actually got to plat one. Look at that. All right. Feeling good. I've been in much I'm out of my slump now, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, I'm pretty excited about being out of the slumpy slump. Barely gotten to plat three. It's it's lightening up a little bit, by the way, guys. It the the, the it's starting to filter out a wee bit. Um, but welcome, I love cats. By the way, opponent goes first. I don't have too fast of a hand. He's playing black. Oh, Black Zombos. Good for you, bro. Buck the meta, dude. I, at least I'm not going to die in Platinum. I'm, I'm going to make it to Diamond. That's the good news. Um, So with, I think, the Meat Hook, people finally really got hurt by the Meat Hook ban. Like, it started making a difference. Um, Basically, like, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is when the Meat Hook Band really started to do something uh, and the meta started to open up a little bit. Um, and I think most of the sweat has left. So e either people have ascended and got their rank or people are trying to figure out what's what's to grab next. So it's... um. It's a little easier. It's a little lighter. Uh, we're going to have to commies flare this guy out before he becomes too big of a problem. Um, okay. We'll have to put down Atlanta Atlanta Partners at Law here. Graf Reaver. Yikes. Exploit? No. It's gonna do damage to him. Kami's Flare. Good lord, man. Uh, we gotta kill Jadar, man. I, he's fucking killing me, bro. This, uh, locked out on mana here. I said it's kind of a heavy hand, and it gave me the heaviest hand it possibly could. Um... Luckily, that one is going to die. Yeah, I think I'm doomed anyways. Yeah, Jadar. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm screwed. Yeah. Not fast enough, guys. Good game. Very, very aggressive zombie deck. Very nice. Uh, zombie decks are going to play, man. Zombie decks are going to play with no meat hook. They're going to, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to play, bro. They're gonna play. They're gonna play. They're gonna play. They're gonna play. Anyways, if you ever want an electric toothbrush, go get Quip. You get $25 off. I'm trying their floss program. That way I don't have to go to the freaking dentist. I mean, the drugstore every month to get floss pickers. It's a pain in the, pain in the behind. I hate stuff in my teeth. Yeah, I'm never mad at a zombie loss, bro. If you're going to kill me, kill me with zombies. L listen, I I'm never going to be upset about it. You kill me with zombies, you got that one, homie. You got me. You know what I'm saying? I dig it. So I can't stand anything in my teeth. I always keep those, those like green floss pickers with me. Like, if there's even remotely anything 
in my teeth, I, 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 I can't, I can't, I'm, I'm dead. I'm gone. I'm so distracted. Evolve Sleeper. Anti-life gain tech. You know, in a different meta, this guy would be played in every single deck, but there's not so much life gain anymore um, where he's, like, critical. Um, all right, so let's do Quarian. Let's kill the Evolve Sleeper before it becomes a problem. Um, and let's hold back. Because I think he's going to try to sleep me out here. Ooh, going to try to get that good Shell Drissy out on me. Um, uh, two... Push that guy in. Boom. Okay. Alright. Draw, gain life, which is not great. Really need that Raiju out. Blood Veil Purveyor. Ooh, that's a tough one. That is a tough one, folks. might have to do this as much as I hate to I might have to do this hey country fried how you doing man all right so that's gonna mana fix me there that's gonna mana fix me there Kiba, nice. All right. Put as much into this one as put put the biggest swing you can forward, bro. Um, no, I'll take it. Ooh, Rockvale Valley. Opponent loses two life. Okay, so Raiju. Gonna have to ride you it up, bro. I'm gonna have to try to go over the top. I don't know if that's gonna work. We're gonna have to figure it out, man. Math is for blockers, dude. Um, we can do three. Let's see. I have a grand total. That's four over. I think I might got him here, man. I think I might be over going over the top like Sylvester Stallone here. Yeah, I think I'm going over the top, boys. That's four. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm over the top. He's He can only block a grand total of ten. And I have... Uh... I have 19 going in. Yeah, I'm one over. Oof. Modified. Yeah, man. I, You know, I've played something similar to this, but I never doubled down. And I said I got to go on a hasty modified, man. People have been talking about that's where the new that's where the new center of gravity is. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it, man. Um, I'm seeing it. Absolutely. This might be where the center of gravity is, is, is dripping. Is drippity drip drop drippity drip drip dripping. Um, gravity doesn't drip. Oh, level up! Look at that. What do we got here? Another reward. Another dimension. Another dimension. We almost got double vault progress there. That's nice. What do we got here? Caves of Coilos. Oh, I'm glad I didn't build that. Um. Okay. VML. Marginalized genders. Okay. All right. So we're we're pushing diamonds, guys. Even against mono black. Listen, it is hard to stop a haste over the top deck. If if they don't play a lot of removal early on, it is not easy. If you're going like with Kodama, especially if you lay down a little damage first, it's not easy for them to stop it. Um. 
Gruel Landfall was fun. I used to enjoy Gruel Landfall. That was a fun, uh, those were fun builds back in the day. You can still play them in Historic. Not, they haven't gone anywhere yet. All right. SOS to save my ass. Da, 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 da. All right, let's do that. Oh, he's he's grueling too. He's grueling too. Okay. Okay, he's gru he's grueling up. He's getting his gruel on here. I have a feeling it's Jund though. I've been seeing more Jund than gruel to be honest. Water. Enchantments, enchantment, it is shocking the longevity that enchantments has had um, regarding the meta. The snap together kind of auto build enchantment that we have um, is amazingly good. Uh, that, that enchantment deck that will um, basically just kind of do its own thing. Um, naturalist yeah it, the, the longevity of of Selesny enchantments in the meta is an amazing amazing thing because i think that it has been one of the most steady like top five decks it is so steady on that man it is just it is a freaking metronome um it could not be any more just smooth uh about doing what it does you know Okay, why don't we do Quarry and Beast Caller? Why don't we gain why don't we put some counters on that? Kami flare you out. Pop pop. And then hit. I'll take the hit. I can ride you next time and gain life with the gala. I think that's gonna be it. Oh yeah, especially with those little um uh you know, it was the fear of the meat hook that that really pushed things, you know, pushed things in certain directions. Not even that meat hook was there, but that meat hook was lurking, if that makes any sense. Meat hook was always in the back of your mind when trying to either build a deck or play a deck. Um, yeah, it, it is such a, such a threat, uh, generally speaking. It is such a broad threat. Um... Gain some life here. Okay. And we're gonna swing out. Um Aquarian Beast Caller. What's your thought on the whole Earthbind situation? Etc. I see no issue with most of these crybabies and all their fans are twerking. Etc. Who's Earth? What's her Earthbind? I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about, Seraxis Jaxis. Um, I don't know what that means. Yeah, he's got a block. No, I haven't. I don't often follow paper very much. Let me look it up, Sir Axis Jaxis. Earthbind MTG. Oh, oh yeah, the one the fairy that's uh Um that's getting real roped up. I actually have that card. So what is the problem? They don't they don't like it. It's it's too sexual. Ooh, he got me there, boys. He got me there. Look at that. 
basically a mirror match, and he got he got that card. I mean, I could have left a blocker, um, but you never know, man. He could have just not had it either. Um, so... All right, guys, I think we're going to leave it there. Uh, pretty good, and I'm worried about slipping further and getting into a losing streak here. So uh, pretty happy with it overall. Um, yeah, let's see if I the Vengeful, what's up? How you doing? Uh, we're going to, don't go anywhere. We're not, the stream isn't ending, so if you were live here and in person, you'd be able to hang out on the stream a little longer. But the video is going to end right there. I think we've showcased what this thing can really do. And uh, we're going to leave that there for you guys. Uh, until next time, guys, I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Bye-bye.